I hate you guys right in the face shield. <laughs> What is that gummy stuff right there? It doesn't want to turn with the crap. Huh? Do you know? Do you know? Huh? 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 Oh yeah. Let's back up some. Right down there in parcel. Dun, 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 dun. Here you go. It's not really what I wanted. What is that? How am I going to fix that? Oh, that was not what I wanted. No, not at all. Alright, so how do it go? It goes like that, huh? We're going to put it back on. That's what we're going to do. Hang tight, folks. A little bit of uh, CA glue. And we're going to... Uh-oh. I'm going to get this under the right way, maybe. We might be okay. All I got to do right now is really sand it, so. And then we'll part it off. I think I can sand most of it out. <laughs> Gotta love that stuff, huh? It don't foam up, he said. That's what I get for pushing my luck. I was trying to get it down there pretty thin. Uh, I did a practice one and <laughs> it didn't quite go like that, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Probably break it off here again, so. All I'm gonna do now is sand it. Let's see if it stays on. 
Alrighty, well, y'all get the idea, right? <laughs> I'm gonna be at this a little bit. I'll come back in when we're, uh, I'm I'll probably put sand and sail around, see how close I can get this to. Hopefully it don't come off there again, if we need any sand and sealer. Oh, the last one I did had pine cones in it. I probably won't need sand and sealer. So, uh, I'm going to go through some, probably up to like 600 grit, because that's what I have for these little my mesh things. But right now, since I can't really do a whole lot with this, I'm going to try to sand that out of there. <laughs> and y'all don't need to watch that. I'll be back. So there's some gooey spots in here. I don't know what that's probably some unmixed resin because I scraped the things and dump it in here. That's what it looks like because it's gooey. Uh, I am going to see let's try some steel wool here. I don't want to push on it too hard because I've already broke that off once while I was sanding. I had to put it back on so I had it much straighter than this. My plan here is to get the lacquer on it. We'll figure something else out. Get this parted off, we'll sand that up. Again, I put the uh, Jacob's Chuck in here and then we'll put the little, little thing on. I got it all set up already. And we'll just twist them off by hand, you know, just kind of roll them by hand. Hopefully that stays intact and I don't have too much of that seam that I broke right there in it. Uh, but anyways, down to 100 RPM. Maybe rattly can. Woohoo, there's all kinds of funky colors in that one. So anyways, here's my other one. I had a pine cone in this one. That's what we got. It's dusty. I don't want to wipe it off because it'll get on there. Uh, it's not perfect. It's got some pinholes and stuff in it, but uh, that's what I ended up with. We'll get them all cleaned up. Got our one, two, three. Yeah, I might be able to get four. Yeah, we're going to make our own grass instead of buying it and putting it into project. We're just going to mix up some green and turn it into ribbons and use it for grass. <laughs> all right, let me get another coat on here. Hey, we'll leave her be for now. I think this is on round three. Yeehaw!
<laughs> yeah. Say hi, Kim. <laughs> you know I'm putting that in Friday's video, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there was Jen, too. All right, so. Yeah, those are the chipmunks in the shop today. And we're going to make some... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to open up this pressure pot. Oh, look, there you are again, Kim. You're everywhere. <laughs> That is definitely green. How about that, eh? Woohoo! Oh, look at the whole bottom just blew out of it. <laughs> Alright, well let me get that out of there and we'll get it set up on a lathe. Did a few more. What are we gonna say? Happy Easter? Y'all wanna say Happy Easter too? Hang on, let me flip you around here. There we go. Say Happy Easter, Kim. Happy Easter. How about Jen? Are you in there, Jen? Also my chocolate. Jen's not in there. No, she had to go. Oh. So, well, anyway, so happy Easter. I'm, I, want, I, want some, I want some chocolate. You know, so there's only one. That's my bunny. <laughs> All right, well, let me uh, get these over to the stickery board and talk about them. Yeah, as soon as I put all these peeps back, they're not stale enough for my wife yet. She likes them when they're like, you know, a week old and open. <laughs> but anyways, let me uh, we'll get these out. We'll talk about some of this because some of this was good some of this was bad this this thing right here yeah uh-huh this one <laughs> this one is a good one <laughs> so there's my grass uh, I mean I purposely made that green thing just to turn grass uh, the problem I had was getting green because that green does not stay green when you put it in the resin for some reason it turns blue yellow helped although I was almost out of that and I used the dried up stuff but hey it is what it is so <laughs> then there's this thing. All right, I'm not. Oh, oh, oops, I'm, I'm not real happy with it. I mean, it, it turned out okay. And what are you supposed to expect when it's just all my extra resin being dumped into it? So who knows? There's layers of dust in it. Who, hey, whatever, you know. Uh, it's just all the leftover ones I've had for a period of time. Uh, it does look kind of look like a pokeball on the bottom, <laughs> which was weird. And then there was some kind of. Uh, you can see it right right in there uh, It must have been some resin that wasn't hardened yet or mixed well And of course, you know, I broke it off and and, and doesn't look Real great, but but that's what you get for all the leftover resin. Um, I did do more uh, I did one I showed you it had uh, the pine cones in it now if you follow me on Instagram This is the one I put on Instagram why I have a bunch of little holes in it, I don't know. I tried to fix them, and I think the damn super glue made it worse. It, it does look pretty cool down here. It kind of looks like a flower. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So that's that one. And not another one. This one had some issues also. I'm not sure what was down in the bottom. There's a, a pine cone in there, obviously. And some gold and purple and clear. 
But then you get up to here, and then there's corn cob in it, in red, I think. Kind of neat trying to figure out what you were doing when these were poured, you know. And then there's this one here. Now, I'm not sure what was going on in there. Uh, what I do know is that was potpourri, because, woo-wee, when that was coming out of there, I knew about it. It stunk. And then there was this one. Now, uh, this one is, I don't know, you see how bad that is in there? Uh, this is the, I think it's tabletop resin. So it doesn't, it doesn't get quite as hard. So, so it was moving around, and while I was trying to part it off, I can find it here. See this smooge right here? It started going like this and bouncing off my tool rest and had to shut it down and cut it off by hand. And then we'll get to this one. Now, I don't know if you've seen when I was pouring the green, there's a, this thing. This thing was sitting on the table with a solo cup. So I, I made way too much of that so I could pour this. And now I turned this one. Now this is just leftover resin again in little... Uh, <laughs> I had to go find it. The little ice cube tray things. Um, it's just a little, I think they're quarter inch squares or something like that. So that's all these are. I just dumped the extra resin in it and smeared it off and, or flattened it off. And, and I just made a collection of them. So I put all those in, down in the resin, in the solo cup. Did this one off camera. Uh, but I turned it and then I went and I polished it. I, I, I sanded up to 600 like you've seen. And then I wet sanded from 600 all the way through the, um, the micro mesh pads and then I buffed it. I have the, it's a Harbor Freight thing. It's got a, a, a Arbor with three different buffers on it, you know, so you see that, right? No finish at all. That is just wet sanded, resin, and buffed. I hate you too, Zach. You and Jake. You and Jake. Cost me a lot of money. <laughs> so now I got to buy a buffing system. Uh, a lot more work, but the outcome is so much better. But, but anyways, here's my basket. <laughs> I took all the candy in the house. I had to go in and take pictures, so I'll put pictures up at the end and, with all these in it. And then, uh, you know, give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Y'all have a happy Easter, and we'll see you all next week.